we are given a mass moving uh, we are given a van moving up a, a ramp with a trailer attached to it we are given the value of sine alpha uh, we are also given the mass of the trailer the mass of the van and the resistance to each of the motion for the van 250 newton for the trailer 150 newton and we are given uh, we have to find the deceleration of the van when it's moving at 16 meter per second and the engine working at uh, a power of 10 kilowatts so if we don't if you don't know uh, this formula you'd need this note uh, the work done is force times distance so the power will be forced into velocity so force equals to power by velocity now we are uh, this is ma ma mass into acceleration of the whole system we'll consider both as a single particle now for this math the forward force is due to the engine you'll have uh, 10 kilowatts so 10 into 1000 uh, divided by 16 the velocity and then you subtract the force due to gravity on both of them so 800 g sine alpha and the um, resistance to their motion due to non-gravitational forces 250 and 150 subtract that we are also given that sine alpha is 1 by 14 in the question so we can just calculate a from here directly so the deceleration would be 0 0.419 meter per second square now in part b we have to find the tension in the tow bar at this instant so now we'll have to consider uh, it as separate particles so uh, I, i'd say it's easier to consider the trailer over here because uh, the forward force on it is t and the backward force on it is 200 g sine alpha plus 150 you could do it with the uh, uh, truck as well or the van but you'll have power by velocity minus t minus 600 g sine alpha minus 250 so i'll just do it for the trailer so t minus 150 minus 200 g sine alpha equals to 200 times a the acceleration is minus 335 by 800 so we can just calculate t to be 